If I'm staying neutral on something, am I even saying anything of substance? The job itself is a blast, but everything else about it, the brain worms you get, it's just yeah. like a fallout, like all that stuff is what makes it hard. I have like immense privilege being a man on the internet. If you and I criticize the same dude, oftentimes you will get a reaction and I won't. I make people really angry for yeah. some reason. <laughs> Commentary YouTubers have ghostwriters or lots of people helping their research because some of them are very quick at making videos. I definitely use researchers, but also a lot of the research just comes from getting DMs from people. If someone's posting super frequently, like Philip DeFranco is like a, has a whole team to do research and scripting and, and all that yeah. stuff to like make the whole machine run. That'd be the dream. I have had somebody like go through TikToks and watch them and send the most relevant ones to me. Otherwise, you're just scrolling on tic yeah. TikTok for hours yeah. and hours yeah. and it just keeps going and I keep getting deeper and deeper. Yeah, my personal TikTok, I feel like, is not relevant content that I would want to make a video about either. Right. Like, I'm just getting, like, uh, soap carving TikToks. <laughs> I have burner accounts that I try to imagine a person that is um, bad, that has bad taste. <laughs> <laughs> so you just linger on I, the video and then I linger and, like, let it watch a bad video it'll be like just women are bad and here's why and then I just sit it there <laughs> and, like, uh, tell me. and then eventually I radicalize myself and I go this guy's got a point <laughs> um no but I that helps me um but then I have to remember to stay in character mm. as the person with the bad viewing habits because I will get sucked into the normal stuff that I'm interested okay. in when I get it on my feed and then it will turn back into my then normal TikTok. Then you're just TikTok watching okay. TikTok so you're not working anymore. Exactly. That's exactly so what, what happens. So what Commentary YouTubers struggle to take breaks from social media or watching YouTube because it constantly reminds them of work. It's hard for me to watch my friends videos because it reminds you of work. That's that's what I was going to say. Mm -hmm. I definitely watch way less YouTube than I used to before I did YouTube because it is hard to not notice all the technical parts of a video now where yeah. it's like the film set up and it's like, I should do something like that. Like, this looks this looks cool. I should try and yeah. implement oh, that in some way. This chat chat video is really good. I need to work harder. <laughs> That's what I do when I, like, watch... Like, I love watching my friends' content, but when I watch my friends' content, yeah, I go, like, it's, Yeah, it's like, just, like, things that, was really that you good. really like, and you're, you're thinking mm -hmm. in your head, oh, well, I could try and do something similar in a similar way. And so it's just constantly, like, work brain is just worrying. Yeah. Whenever, like, a new crazy thing happens, do y'all think, like, oh, shit, I gotta make a video? Like, with the Stanley Cup, did you feel like I've got to make a video right now before the trend dies? I don't know. I'm super slow. So I think I just know that it's going to take me a while regardless. But I do I do know that I'll see people posting about it as I'm working on it. And I'll just be like, damn it. Yeah. I need to hurry. Yeah. Like, this yeah. is nobody's like going to care about this in a couple of weeks. Every once in a while, there will be like somebody that'll post that I'll be like, I think I shouldn't touch that one now. Like, they nailed it. You can never be fast enough. There's always going to be someone uh, because you also have streamers who mm. are cutting down stream content and who can just put an off-the-cuff stream highlight out on a topic faster than you could create a produced video. Yeah. So you're not always playing the same game. And I think you have to, there's a degree to which you have to have confidence in your own perspective and that you're, that people would want to hear what you have to say. I stream quite a bit. And so I think for me, a lot of times I will go live and I'll talk about something on my stream, but I don't know if I want to turn that into a video. And so then it's like, okay, do I want to like double tap this and go back and make a video about it, even though I've already talked about it on stream. And I just get burnt out of a, a subject before I even make a video about it. When I make commentary videos, I have an alt account and sometimes I will make them live on my alt account because I feel more confident doing it in front of people. When I do it off, camera, sometimes I feel like it comes off too scripted. I think something I've been working on is not repeating the same thing over mm. and over again, because once you've said it five times, it's going to sound a lot more scripted. It's mm. like it gets, it sounds more and more scripted the more times you say it. Yeah. So I've been working on like just relaxing and just doing it and saying it like a couple times and then moving on. All commentary YouTubers have a super secret group chat where they discuss what topic to cover on their other channels. We should say yes. Yes, we do. <laughs> yeah. It's called the super, super su commentary. I like how we both said super. super. <laughs> super. Well, it's super. We know it's that. called um, super. And it's very exclusive. It's, you can't, you yeah. can't be in it. One thing, especially when you're about to like invest in a concept, 
you do I you do tend to run it by friends because you don't want to you want to make sure you're not stepping on anyone's toes and it's more like a respect thing than mm. it is like a um stay out of my turf type mm, yeah type yeah I remember one time I was I was working on a video that I had been working on for like two weeks already and then Curtis posted a story and I was like posting a new video tomorrow I've been working on it a lot and I remember responding to it and being like is it about this thing with like tears uh-huh. <laughs> and he was he said yeah and I was like <laughs> just kidding it's not uh-huh. and I was like oh my god <laughs> mm-hmm. I did have that experience so I was working on this video and then for ad reasons it had to be held because we hadn't gotten approval and so the video held back one day, and in that one day, Danny Gonzalez put out a video on the exact Danny. same topic. And so it comes out the next day, and people genuinely thought I had copied oh, him. Oh, you did copy him, yeah. That I makes did. sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah, it took one day. You made a whole day. video in one right. day. Yeah. Um, Script and it's filmed and edited and got brand approval in yeah. 24 hours. Mm-hmm. But I think that like people, I don't mind covering the same depends on the timing, but I usually don't mind covering the same thing as someone else because if I have another take on it or I have my you know, mm-hmm. own perspective, but mm-hmm. don't want to try to steal someone's thunder also. Yeah, I think that like most commentary YouTubers that I know are pretty cool about like, it doesn't matter if somebody like covers the same thing because everybody just has their own like flavor so much, you know, that it's it seems to be fine. I also like I'll usually reach out like I reach out to you a lot as like my ethics checker. Like <laughs> like I'll, I'll reach out and I'll be like, am I being offensive? Like, is this, like, and I say I? yes. Yes, yes you that. are. Yeah. So that's why I haven't posted a video in six yeah, months. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm keeping you all safe. Thank you. Rucky says, honestly, it's not that difficult of a job to be a commentary YouTuber. I think the large majority of them just parrot out the topic and don't provide much. Depends on what provide much means, but it's not a difficult job objectively, right? It's not like hard labor. So I'm not going to go to bat for like (laughs) this being a very difficult job. No, No, like I... It's a creative field, you know? I worked when I was younger, like before I was working in customer service or this job, I was a plumber's assistant. So I was like digging um, like in the dirt and in rocks. And that's definitely harder than this. But I still work hard on this. Right. So it's, they're they're very different. They're very different. I think the, when it comes to fields like content creation, the difficulty doesn't come in the craft you're making, but all the peripheral stuff. So just dealing with people having opinions about, you know, the work that you do. Like when I was, like I used to be a barber. And so when I was a barber, I didn't have like, you know, thousands of people parasocially giving a shit about like what the haircut I was giving some yeah. guy was, yeah. you know? And so like I, like, I love making videos and it's so fun. And like the job itself is a blast, but everything else about it, the brain worms you get, it's just yeah. like a fallout, like all that stuff is what makes it hard, I think. Chad, Chad, you said people assume you're pregnant for some reason. I don't know. I don't know <laughs> where that's coming from. I I had a, oh God, what was it? A baby. I had, <laughs> I, did, I had a pregnancy and uh, no, I, the last time I posted, I got, uh, I think it was a comment or maybe a DM and somebody was like, I'm seeing signs of pregnancy. Oh, wow. And I was like, what are the signs of pregnancy? <laughs> like, that, if you're going to say something like that, tell signs. me so I can figure out what's going on. It was just entertaining to be like, oh my God, are you? Yeah, and then they were like, please don't take this as in an offensive way. How? I was like, that makes me feel like I should be offended. I don't know. But I also, uh, this might be part of it. Whenever my U2's figurine came out, for the, the preview for it, I was like, leading up to it, I was like, I have some big news. I'm pregnant. <laughs> I'm pregnant with information oh, about my U2s. Right. And then it's like people's hearing went out after yeah, they, shut they the video heard off I'm pregnant. And they, were they were like, like I can't. they threw their computer yeah. or something. Well, it was an earthquake, so. Yeah, yeah. 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 But I was clearly joking or no, I just go on and I'm like, I, I kept making pregnancy puns mm. in reference to the U2s because she's like a small version of me. So. Sure. Um, but I had a lot of comments that didn't weren't catching on, and they they were like, "Are you actually pregnant? Wait, are you really pregnant? I'm confused." Be like, I yeah. don't know. People get too parasocial online, and make wild assumptions about your your life, your relationships, your health. 
So I've got, you know, there's the classic, and streamers get this a lot, mm -hmm. that you look tired. True, yes. That yeah. you look tired. Uh, yeah. If I appear with either of these two on camera, people we're dating. Think we're dating. Oh, yeah, yes. we are. Um, yes. without, Which is true with all three of all us. All of us are dating. Just so yeah. many yeah. And that type of thing is like, you need to touch grass. <laughs> <laughs> Do commentary YouTubers ever consider if they will get content made about them? I welcome it. <laughs> um, I think that, like, as long as I am you know, doing good faith criticism and I stand by what I say in the video, I have no problem with someone making a commentary video about me or a response or anything like that because uh, I'm not infallible. You know, it's like I am, you know, able to be critiqued and I'm not saying that I shouldn't be. So, yeah. I want somebody to. I'm trying to be more problematic, actually, mm -hmm. because I really would like somebody to. So, please. Actually, I think somebody made a video talking about me at some point or somebody sent it to me. And I think the, the title was What's Wrong With Commentary YouTube. Um, and it had um, Danny drew an eye in the thumbnail. At, but he only talked about me for the whole video. That's wild. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I think, the, I think the summary was just, and she's not funny. I have like immense privilege being a man on the internet. I am not criticized the same way I, that my sort of femme presenting compatriots are. I see, are. Mm -hmm. okay. And so I think that if we, if you and I criticize the same dude, mm -hmm. oftentimes you will get a reaction and I won't. It's, I, I make people really angry for yeah. some reason. Commentary YouTube seems to be more male dominated, but the audience is more female dominated. Over the years, my audience has shifted because when I started, it was, um, I was making videos about software engineering and it was 99.9% .9 male. That's mm. a crazy ratio. It was wild. And, and, and I had, um, you know, a, a female friend of mine who was also making similar content and her audience was also 99%. Hmm. And, so, and she was trying to extend the olive branch to like women in STEM and tech and stuff. And it's just like the YouTube algorithm would just like push it hmm. to these audiences. And it was hard to get out of. And now it's like 65% female. I think last time I checked it was 70 to 80. Yeah. Which Depends is fun. on a video to video basis. Mine's like yeah. leaning more towards men, but mine can like dip into video game content and mm -hmm. women don't play video games. Right, no. not allowed. we're not allowed to. Yeah, yeah. 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 Only Bejeweled. Right, exactly. Um, yes. Candy Crush, candy crush. Yeah, exactly. I love like, Candy Crush. That is true. Yes. I think that to that point though, I, as a guy, and in the current landscape of like young men online and the types of content that are appealing to young men, I am trying to figure out how to be more accessible or more, um, kind of extend that olive branch to those people because they are impressionable. And I do think that if you have a dissenting voice from a guy, unfortunately, like as a young person, you might be more inclined mm. to like listen to, to somebody who like looks like you or has like a similar life experience. And I don't want to just be kind of preaching to the choir, exclusively talking to women about weird guys right, on the internet. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I talked about that subreddit that was called um rate rate what was it called oh. it was oh rate my looks or something yeah. it was called like yeah. true Remember ratings or, or objective attractiveness mm -hmm. yeah. rating right. or whatever when i talked about that subreddit i told about my own experience with my own body image and things like that like as a as a guy and and tried to sort of be empathetic because i understand that a lot of like young men online are getting dunked on but when i expose that little bit of vulnerability. I got so many DMs from guys who were like, how can I be confident in myself? Yeah. And I was like, wow, like there are yeah. real people who you're reaching with this stuff who need to be heard. I would say as, as a woman who watches commentary YouTube, it's nice to like see a man speak on the misogyny of like those podcasts because they feel like you don't really see that very much 100 percent. however the uh dissenting critique of a man doing that for a woman it's like these women you know mm -hmm. they're just saying stuff and for a guy it's like you just want the approval of women uh, it's hard to strike the balance where you get yeah. someone to and, where and, simp gets thrown out right right sudden, like yeah. you're just simping or you're pandering mm -hmm. and it's like it sounds like you think what you believe is objectively correct and everyone else is uh lying but yeah that's that's the that's the tough the tough balance yeah. and like going back to what you said about like there being more male commentary 
YouTubers. I, I do actually know that's true because I remember there was a time when I first got into it that I messaged you and I said, can you send me women that do commentary? Because I was watching, I was watching you, I was watching Jordan, I was watching like Danny, I was watching like Eddie and like a bunch of people. And then I was like, and then he sent me you and then Gabby also. Yeah. Because I was like, I was like, I like everybody's good, but I want to watch more girls. They're also I, mostly yeah. white. I mean, like, right. and that's exactly. fine. It's just like, uh, and then there are a lot of like black creators who do a lot of cultural commentary. And it, I don't know, uh, other than like Nathan Zed and Corrizi, uh, know, know that many people off the top of my head now that are, well, let me back up and say, it's definitely getting better. Mm -hmm. But if you go back to 2016, it's like almost exclusively white male yeah. dominated. Yeah, 100%. How do they walk the line between giving their opinion on things they cover or staying neutral on the topic? And how do they decide which to do? If I'm staying neutral on something in my content, am I even saying anything I of feel, substance? I, I don't think I've ever thought in my head I need to stay neutral while I'm writing this. I think the whole point is to give your perspective on it. Which, if you're being neutral, it's more of a reporting yeah, kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, this is extremely yeah. biased. Yeah. <laughs> these, are, these are jokes yeah, these, that are lies, yeah. <laughs> or they're based on, uh -huh. you know, some sort of uncomfortable truth. Yeah, I think that that's kind of like the line of walking where you are giving your opinion on something without just being an asshole about it, which that is kind of like a tough line to walk sometimes. Yeah, yeah you're giving your opinion in yeah. a digestible yeah. way. Yeah, it's saying like, this is what I think about this instead of like, this is what this is. Since y'all have to deal with a lot of like negative topics and stuff, does that take a toll on your mental health? I don't think it does like seeing it, but me trying to put myself in the mentality of like, do I want to poke here? That can kind of weigh on my, my mental where it's like, if I poke this, is this gonna like eat me up? Because the, all the time leading up to posting the video, am I gonna think like, is this gonna blast me? Like, is this gonna make me look terrible? Like, am I poking in the wrong like place? That kind of stuff, but seeing it, not so much. I mean, it depends on the weight of the topic, but I've definitely had some people that I've talked about where watching their content in such long periods does start to get on my nerves. And it's like, I can't wait for this to be done. And that definitely starts to wear on you eventually. A good chunk of their weeks are often filled with brainstorming and in parentheses, doing nothing. I feel like I'm always brainstorming. I think that's uh, just true about creative work in yeah, general. you can't turn it off. It's I mean, a, I can't. I don't know about you guys. I can turn it off, but turn like off. there's, I think that you have to be doing nothing to some extent to have like yeah. thoughts like pop in your I brain. I love brainstorming and driving because I can't mm -hmm. get distracted so I can just drive and be in like my mind palace and just yeah. like cooking. Yeah. Well, it would be strange if you were just like sitting and not doing anything in a room. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. I feel like that would be scary. <laughs> I just, yeah. just a constant thing. Brainstorming yeah. or like thinking about topics is just something that's kind of happening in the background of every day, even when I'm working on other stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so Popping it's- out your notes app. Like yeah, me, you just like, like in your notes app, 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 app jot, jot it down. Writing something yeah. down, laptop, whatever you have closest to. It's just mm -hmm. like a constant thing going on in the midst of other things yeah. for me. They spend two hours writing one sentence of a script. Sometimes. Sometimes. It sucks, but sometimes, yeah. It's usually like the first one of the video. The, the very first sentence. Yeah. Really? Two hours? It's it'll be like it's... it'll be like ten minutes and then you'll go to do something else and then ten more minutes and you do something else and then the next day. Or it'll just come like back. rewriting or rewriting. Rewriting stuff. over and over and over again. Sometimes I'll just you I'll just get such severe writer's block that mm. I'll literally be sitting in front of a computer just getting progressively more pissed at myself. Yeah. Yeah. I start like, talking louder. What is, I'll start like, reading what it What is happening? Why is nothing coming out? Yeah. I get into moods where I hate everything that I write. Exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then I'm not sure if I'm supposed to keep going or if I'm supposed yeah. to step away. Yeah, it's like yeah. I should step away, but I'm not going to enjoy anything I'm doing away from this computer because yeah. I'm going to be thinking about how I should be here. Yeah. That's when sending it to other people can be really helpful, but I also just will try to power through it and then just get mad at myself. <laughs> I write the the bad version of stuff a lot. Mm, that's good. Where yeah. it's like, um, okay, I need to get from point A to point B. The word vomit. So I'm gonna yeah, write like the shittiest possible like yeah. way to get me there. And that helps like unblock that moment, mm -hmm. but then sometimes you're still staring at the shitty version and you're going, this is really shitty. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't know what to do about yeah. it. I love that method. It's the write something bad. Mm -hmm. It's just like write something. Because yeah. there's the like the thought that um 
the something good is like behind a bunch of stuff. Well, yeah, it's like your stream of consciousness and you're just kind of chopping away at the block. Yeah, Yeah. that's, I kind of, I call it like the word vomit take where it's Mm -hmm. like, you just like, it's like, shut up, sit down, just like write, even if you write a sentence, because what'll happen is you'll be writing and then you'll get stuck on a sentence and you're like, that sounds like shit. Mm -hmm. And then it's like, don't just keep going, just like Mm -hmm. keep writing and then come back to it. Because if you get stuck on it, sometimes... I mean, I have like so many scripts that are just in my computer that are dead. Sexually Active Toyota says, do they consider themselves chronically online? If yes, how has that affected their social life? Yeah, I'd say I'm chronically online. Yeah, I would say. I'll I'll sometimes forget which group I'm in and make a reference to something that happened on Twitter that morning at 9 a.m. and then forget that nobody knows about it yet. I said poggers to my landlord the other day. Oh my God. (sighs) This is a support group for was that he chill now. With, yep. Was he chill with that? He was chill. He Well, he said the other day, he said, that's a dub. Oh, yeah. So oh, he did, he's, yes. He's in on it. He is. Yeah. He's there. Mm-hmm. He, he gets he it. He said, we've got a leak at the house, and he said, F's in the chat. He said, that's an L. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it does feel like I don't have anything to talk about whenever mm-hmm. I've been working for a week straight on a video, and I've only been on the internet, and then I see people True. in real life, and I'm like, like, hello. I know. What What's yeah. happening in real life? <laughs> when someone asks how you're doing and all you've done is like be on the internet and work. Yeah. And you're like, oh, stuff. I've been just, yeah. uh, just doing stuff. Rolling out of bed and staring at a computer. Yeah. 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 How do y'all avoid like coming off like you're punching down? I think one thing to remind my, that I remind myself is to, you can criticize an action without criticizing a, a, a person. But in general, I try to just not, like if someone's like, you should talk about this weird guy online and they're super duper wacky. This person thinks they're dating Michael Jackson and they <laughs> and they make videos or they make TikToks about it. And I look and they have 4,000 followers. Yeah. I'm not going to touch no. that. Yeah. But no. if it's in a, if it's, if it's like a bunch of people commenting on a thing and that's already gone super viral and it's important for the argument, I usually don't feel like my footprint, especially the nature of how I'm covering it is gonna like negatively impact that person. I try to steer away from singling out one person. Like I I have talked about an individual's account before, but it's not my preference to do that. I, I much prefer to talk about like a genre of content or a trend or a bunch of people who are kind of have something going on in unison with each other that they're all talking about. I just try to avoid, or like a company, like the Stanley yeah. Cup. Yeah. Or Company's easy. Company, mm-hmm. I love, you can never I love that where, where you're not singling someone out yeah. and directing all that attention towards them. I like it when it's something that everybody already knows about. We just had streamers in and they wanted to ask y'all how you feel whenever a streamer reacts to your videos. Mm. Yeah, yeah, ask them if they like, when people react to their videos and how it benefits benefits their channels versus doesn't. It depends like how, if they're like, I'm gonna go f- off to the it, bathroom. Yeah, it does depend yeah. on how they're watching yeah. it. I personally uh, don't mind. I, th- I think of it as like a compliment, but I'm at, I'm at a position where I don't feel like my potential viewership is being siphoned away. And I think that one of the, more nuanced issues here is that if a large creator watches this thing and doesn't do the proper attributions and maybe they just watch it, it can become a market replacement for the original if they were to put it on YouTube Mm -hmm. also. So now it's competing in the same place in the same space and with the same algorithm, often with the same title, often with a similar thumbnail with the face of the the, uh, streamer often uh, taking away real estate from the face or you know whatever of the original person. And I think that that's where you get into strange territory because usually that is not transformative. You know, like Hassan watches my videos on stream a lot and I'm honored, but also can't watch them because I personally, watching someone watch me is like nails on a yeah, chalkboard. Yeah, I can't watch that either. This yeah. is, I don't usually watch when people react to my stuff. So I, I don't know, but I think I, I agree with what you said, like where you're at the point where it's not stealing or taking away from your audience or potential audience. But yeah, definitely. I remember being smaller and sometimes seeing that some maybe a video that popped off was being reacted to and they're not saying anything. And then yeah. it's like full screen, so you can't see my channel name. 
and maybe they're eating or they're on their phone and it's like, what is, what's happening yeah. here? <laughs> yeah, I see that a lot with people that are streaming for like long periods of time. They'll just like throw YouTube videos on and stuff like that. And yeah. I don't know, like Twitch is just kind of like no man's land with that. But I think that there's another step that a lot of people take where they'll they'll watch a video on stream, they'll sit there and they'll eat something, then they'll take that recording, put it on YouTube. Putting it on YouTube And is then surreal. not credit the original video. And that's kind of, that's not good to me. Okay, so we have a comment from a fan uh, who had a bad experience with Sam and oh, then someone else responded about Jarvis. Yeah. Um, Spicy. What is wrong so with you So this comes too? from Trav. I saw a sandwich at the grocery store the other day. I told her how cool it was to meet her in person, but I didn't want to be weird and bother her and ask for photos or anything. She said, oh, like you're doing now? I was taken aback. All I could say was, huh? But she kept cutting me off and going, huh, 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 and closing her, fa <laughs> closing her hand shut in front of my face. <laughs> I am so sorry. And yes, 100% that did happen. Mm -hmm. And yeah. um, Jarvis was there. I and, was there. Yeah. Well, wait, someone responded. When I met Jarvis, <laughs> he told me to f off. Yeah. <laughs> That's true, that happened. Pushed me to the ground and started stomping on my face. I did do that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's I known will, for that. I will say people are so... I. Uh, like people are so respectful to me in public. While you're stomping on them. While I'm yeah. stomping on they're them. Like, they're yes, like please. still a big fan of the videos. <laughs> no, but like I will often like trying my best. <laughs> recently recently I, I've been like at a coffee shop or like eating or drinking and then somebody will be like, Hey, are you Jarvis? And I'll be like, Yeah, hey, how's it going? And they're like, just wanted to say hi and then they like, run away. Uh. And I'm like, Oh, this is like a nice interaction. I didn't I didn't feel like I ruined it for them because that yeah. would be my fear yeah because whenever you meet somebody in person you're like oh god i i have to like make this a positive experience i i'm or else they're gonna be ruined <laughs> forever i always assume that people recognize me and then are looking for where's jarvis or like where's like anytime anybody i'll be like yeah no no huh okay <laughs> <laughs> like i have that to a degree whenever uh, especially whenever I first started making videos or, or getting subscribers, when I would go out in public and I would notice somebody looking at me for a little longer than normal. Mm -hmm. And it's like a thing where I'm trying to avoid them mm -hmm. looking at me because they haven't said anything. Mm -hmm. And so it's like, I don't know if they know who I am them. or I don't know if there's something f***ed up going on right. on my, like I'm checking <laughs> if there's like toilet paper on my shoe right. or something. We're gonna do a segment where we have a bunch of commentary memes. Oh. And we're going to have y'all create a tier list. Oh. Oh. Five minute crafts, completely broken phone, toothpaste. I'm not a big meme guy. I don't watch, I don't look at the memes. No, no, no. I just feel like I'm a very harsh critic of memes, okay. let me say. So you're so, a meme connoisseur. I'm a meme connoisseur. You're too likes good the high for arts memes. of memes. Yeah, the high arts of memes. He likes the memes. tasteful yeah. ones, the mm -hmm. fancy mm -hmm. So this is, um, this is almost directly based on like a five minute crafts thumbnail. Um, You're analyzing it. <laughs> I give it a C. <laughs> I don't. It's fine. Mm -hmm. Nobody. Life hack videos. That's real. They do be doing that. Do you side. think it's like a metaphor because it's like an apple and then it's an apple? Oh, that's fine. Yeah. Peeling an apple with an apple. Yeah. If it was an Android, that would have been really deep. I, I think it's a C, yeah. Oh! Oh, corporate that's... needs you to find the difference between this picture and this picture. They're the same picture. That's I'm weird. in this one, so I like this that's one. Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna say this is an S. Okay. This is a good one. I would give this a B, but it would have been an A if there were two of this guy. Uh, I see what you mean. There should be two of me also. Yeah. <laughs> but didn't you be Chad, 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 Chad? Yeah. <laughs> I gave a B, you gave an S. I gave it, yeah. that's the best one, yeah. Sigma Alpha. 15 signs you're a Sigma male, super rare. <laughs> is it better than Alpha? So this is funny this is a Facebook because meme this is a real, like I know that the- Super rare. The meme of the, uh, the this this like thumbnail is a meme. Is there a capybara? <laughs> like the capybara is not there, but this title is real. Like this, these are re a real brand What do you mean? Video. He's right there. That's true, yeah. I can't yeah. deny that. In He's that a case, Sigma. I have to give it an S. <laughs> Watch I'm gonna the... give this one an S. No one. Commentary YouTubers, the problem with God, <laughs> 62,000 views. Yeah. I like the 50% like to dislike ratio. Yeah. Yeah. Well, in that case, I'll give yeah. it an S. All okay. right. Sure. S for sure? S for sure. Yeah. <laughs> YouTube reaction video starter pack. And then it's a photo of the like, um, pog face, or what do we call this face? That's the pog face. And then, wow, are these real? That's yes. crazy. Always this face, 
arrow circle karen's too weird i love keith's, keith's face is yeah usually reaction to a weird documentary or Darman video that's me that's a shot directly at me that is you mm. design fails people who had one job and failed I do love uh, a red arrow or a circle. Yeah. I, I do, I like, you started using them ironically. I don't always use them, but um, it's fun. Can you guys do these? No. Yeah. My mouth doesn't open that big. Look at how big Keith's mouth opens up. That's really big. Let me try. Do it right now. That's small. That's as big as I can do. That's not. <laughs> don't you make fun do. of my. You're better than this. Right, here we go. Come on. No. Keep going. Yep. That's fine. That's, no, that's I mean, awesome. you're close. I One more shot. Go on. All right, I, I to give up. He pushed yourself. Take okay, a rest, yeah. buddy. Take a rest. My mouth's yeah. tired. Yeah, he's tired. And uh, A, because Jarvis tried really hard. I did. Get A. Today. A plus. Reading. This looks like when they give you. <laughs> this is just a voice critical. Commentary guy. <laughs> 3.2 like... million. More billion subscribers. <laughs> popular, popular guy situation is crazy. Penis man situation is insane. True. Huge poop and fart and drama. <laughs> This is like a moist critical meme, I guess. Mm -hmm. It's funny though, because <laughs> this is really how some of these yeah, videos are. <laughs> I like that this is the same picture. He's, He's the only one who can get away with this on YouTube. Hey little guys, pamphlets on the airplane. I want to talk today about the popular guy situation. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. It's crazier than anything you've ever seen. It's remember, crazier yeah, remember than... to subscribe, hit a few inches on your penis. <laughs> um, all right, thanks for watching. Everybody. All right, <laughs> see you. That's all. I guess that's it. See you. Bye. See you. Yes, because I like um, Jarvis's impression. Commentary YouTuber Starter Pack doing a skit at the end of the video, recreating the video they've reacted to, <laughs> <laughs> creating a name for their whole this audience. This is a Danny Gonzalez call out, I feel. I'm gonna give this a D. I, it's just like not, I mean, this is was true at a point in time. This is a, uh, a may, maybe a previous era. Mm -hmm, previous era. So I'll give it a P for previous okay, era. Okay, you don't, I don't think you know the rules. <laughs> no. I'll just let her, she's learning. Okay, she's I'm, okay. I, I think we're letting I'm her. I'm also not, not in it. Wheels. Right, so, those are your, mm, that's your rubric. Am I'm not I in here. It? Well, do it's I not about it? me. What assumptions do you have about commentary YouTubers? Jarvis Johnson, Judge. <laughs> <laughs> that's really f***ed up. Oh, I think this is great. Yeah. I'm the kid, right? Yep. That's how I see myself amongst you two. I'm LeBron. And you I'm are I'm the Jordan. basketball. Right, so oh, okay. Right. Who's Michael Jordan? Oh my God, you're in this photo too. I'm. I'm. If what you zoom hell? in on the basketball, I'm right there actually. So this one is an S. You also, look good there. you guys didn't agree with my rating, what, so what we can't move on. I think it was an S. Mm. We gotta stop giving everything an S. <laughs> I. I don't. Okay. What is it then? A P. <sighs> I, did I say P? You did say P. I did say P. Okay, P. P. All right. Previous, you agree. Previous you era. You agree. Yep. All right. Then we're good. Oh, wow. <laughs> Yummy. Uh, I didn't realize what I was looking at. Mm -hmm. That one's gross. Oh. This is gross, but five minute crabs do be like. Why? Let me tell you. That's so disgusting. Yeah. I'm going to give us an F for feet. <laughs> I can't look at this anymore. Or a B for boil. Oh. <laughs> or perhaps an like S a... for scab. <laughs> <laughs> kind of looks like a spring roll. <laughs> S for this, spring roll. Yeah. S for spring roll. Ah, yes, yeah. the rice paper of my feet. <laughs> mm. This friend group looks like the diverse cover of a college brochure. This video was shot in a pure space that we rented in Los Angeles. When I was that? Here. 20... 19. 2019. Oh, it was 19. Nine no, oh, okay. that was you're misremembering. Mm -hmm. Damn, I've been doing YouTube for too long. It's yeah. starting to get nine weird. months. Nine months. That's nine, way too nine, much. Nine months, dude. That's like a whole, That's baby. a whole baby. You know about well, that? Yeah, I would know <laughs> everything about babies. Wow. F for friend group. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I give it an F for friend group. F for friend group. Mm -hmm. Do we want to get a general consensus on how good or bad commentary memes are? Uh, I've never seen a commentary meme before this moment. I don't think I have either. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm gonna say they're bad. So yeah. really. And there's a reason that they're hard to find. Yeah, it's true. Do better. Okay, so the week after y'all premiere, the ASM artists are gonna premiere. So Ooh. do you have an assumption about ASM artists that you want us to ask them? I guess I assume they have really intricate sound setups or something. like. Whenever I'm on TikTok Live, I'll see the craziest microphones with like 
two ends and it's like three basements down where there's no noise like ever yeah and i have like two pairs of headphones on yeah i always think with asm artists that anytime they go anywhere and they see a weird object they go what would that sound like (laughs) you know it's like you go to the flea market and you just see some like weird scratchy thing and you're like i want to scratch that on my skin yeah whenever they you know we were talking about watching our friends videos whenever they hear sounds do they think of work yeah, exactly. They're like, wait, can, wait, can you do that noise again? Can you do that noise again? Yeah. Can you, how did you, okay. <laughs> it's like, wait. Any assumptions that we didn't cover that we want to get into before we wrap? That I'm a multimillionaire. That yeah, has, yeah a, guys, yeah, stop saying asked, that about no, us. Nobody asked yeah. how much money I have. So. Or if you all have questions, assumptions oh, about yeah. each other. Where's my twenty dollars? <laughs> <laughs> my assumption is, is that you, you spent my twenty dollars. My assumption is that you still haven't cash out to me. <laughs> oh yeah. It's just I keep typing in your name wrong. Yeah. Oh. Oops. Typing in one too many chats. I sent it to you. Mm. Like the name. Oh, but my um I lost my phone. She needs I was using it to to skin an apple. <laughs> You're taking and money away. Wet. <laughs> you're taking money away from the baby. Is what you're doing. Yeah, that's true. I've got 15 kids to take yeah. care of. Oh no. <laughs>